Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix the error where my SQL shut down unexpectedly when using the XAMPP application. So if you're encountering this error message, then what you'll need to do to fix this is just first come over to your file explorer, and then we need to locate where XAMPP is located. Now this is usually inside of your C drive. We're then going to scroll all the way down and double click on XAMPP. Then we're going to scroll down and double click on my SQL. Well, then we need to right click on the data folder, click on the copy button, and then right click somewhere on this folder and go and click on the paste icon. So all we're doing here is just basically making a backup of this data folder. And we're going to rename this backup data underscore old and press enter. So once you have this backup, we can then double click on the data folder. And what you need to do from here is go and delete the MySQL folder, the performance schema folder, the P PHP my admin folder and also this test folder. So make sure it's only these four that you have selected. You can press the control key on your keyboard to select multiple folders. So once you have these four folders selected like this, we can then just right click on them and click on the trash icon to delete them. Now, if you get this message here pop up, then we can just head over to the start menu and search for task manager. From the task manager window in the search box, type in SQL and then you need to right click on this background process here, mysqld.exe, and click on end task. Once you've done that, you can come back over to the folder and click on try again, and it should now go and delete that successfully. So once you've deleted all of those folders, we then need to select all of the files in here as well. The only one that we want to deselect is this IB data one. So I'm going to use the control key to go and unselect that. And once you have all of the files selected, just right click somewhere on one of the files and go and click on the trash icon to delete them. Now what we're going to do is come back over to the previous folder, double click on data underscore old. Now from this data old folder, we want to go and copy all of these files. The only one that we want to leave is this IB data one. So I'm going to uncheck that like so. And once you've selected everything apart from IB data, just right click on one of the files, click on the copy button, and then we can come back over to the previous folder, double click on data, and you're now just going to paste in all of those files that we just copied. And now what you can do is load back up the XAMPP application, and then you can just go and click on this start button, and it should go and run my SQL. If it doesn't work the first time, then you can always come over to your start menu and search for task manager. In the search box, just go and type in SQL, and then right click on this MySQL D and end the task, then come back over to XAMP and start the process again. If it doesn't work the first time, you can always click this button twice and that should have now solved the issue. If you did find this video helpful, then let me know in the comments and I'll see you in the next